this movement uh, looks to me is one of the most modern and uh, largest Islamic movement. It is uh, doing wonderful work in education, in uh, social work, providing relief and other services that is doing that. God is not a believer, by God is not a believer. My name is Muzammil Siddiqui and I am director of the Islamic Society of Orange County in Garden Grove, California. <clears throat> I also teach at Chapman University in the city of Orange in California. And uh, I am also the head of the Islamic Law Council, Fiqh Council of North America, chairman of the Shura Council, of, uh, that is the Council of all the Islamic centers in Southern California. So I'm working in different organizations for the last uh, 40 years here in America. <laughs> we have uh, here in uh, Orange County, California, a number of representatives from uh, the movement, uh, the Pesica Institute especially. Uh, so I have met uh, them many years ago. And uh, recently I met a number of good brothers like uh, Abdul Rahim Oljan and Brother Khalil and others. And uh, so uh, very impressed with the kindness and humbleness and their uh, dedication. His movement, uh, I only knew briefly from my reading as well as uh, my recent visit to Turkey. I'm very impressed. Uh, this movement uh, looks to me is one of the most modern and uh, largest Islamic movement. It is uh, doing wonderful work in education, in uh, social work, providing relief and other services that is doing that. Um, in my visit, I met uh, many people, uh, ordinary people as well as uh, scholars and leaders of the movement at various universities and colleges, as well as uh, met people in their homes. So through these visits, I found that uh, uh, may Allah bless them. It looks like people are very dedicated, sincere, and also devoted to the work that they are doing. Um, so I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them and bless this movement. The Muslim world today is suffering from a number of problems. Uh, the biggest one is division. Although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that we must be together, we are the Ummatul Wahda, Ummatul Tawheed and Ummatul Wahda. We are the people of Tawheed. Tawheed is the oneness of Allah and we must all be together. Uh, so it is very much mentioned in the Quran uh, that is uh, Hold to the rope of Allah together and be not divided. And do not fight each other because then uh, do not quarrel with each other then that will, you, that will lead to failures and defeat. So this is a very important issue that bring the people together. Second thing is uh, education. We are lacking in education. Although we are not lacking in resources, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a lot of resources to the people, oil resources, many other natural resources are there. So, but still, we have not established educational institutions, good schools, universities, colleges. We are also uh, suffering a lot from uh, poverty. There are so many people who do not find even to eat food. So the people are living in abject poverty. 
So it is important that people should help and provide for people, not just by handout, but uh, ways to, to be employed. Work possibilities for the people, different ways, to, so that people can work and earn and live a dignified life. Also, we have diseases, a lot of people suffering. And all that today, there is no excuse for people to die with uh, small uh, you know, cholera and all of these things. Uh, these things can, are, can be treated very well. Uh, and, uh, and there are resources available. So we should have a lot of hospitals, a lot of clinics. And Muslims uh, do not like doctors. They have many doctors. The doctor should go and help the people. All of these things. On the one hand, you invite, you unite the people. On the other hand, you have to take care of their education, take care of their poverty, take care of their diseases. This is the work that is needed today. The many movements are becoming too much focus on, on politics. And, uh, and then fights started between the government and the movement. So that's not right. What is important is that focus on the social work, focus on the spiritual work. And then, inshallah, a revival is going to come. A revival does not come overnight. It takes time. It takes time. So Ummah needs that social work. Well, there is no movement that we can say is perfect movement. Perfect movement was the movement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa because he was the messenger of Allah. So whatever we do, we make an effort. And I see that there's a good efforts are going on. I don't know all the details, but whatever I learn, it looks to me it's a, it's a good movement. It is uh, authentically Islamic because it recognizes the, the basic principles of Islam, Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet And its aqidah is Sound aqidah, alhamdulillah. So from that point of view, I see that uh, it is uh, uh, Islamic movement. Uh, it has its roots Islamic, its principles are Islamic. And uh, on this basis, but at the same time, this is a movement in the modern times. So you have to understand uh, your relevance to the time in which you are. Uh, everything that we do, we human beings are not universal human beings. We human beings are particular, particular to our time, particular to our space, the situation, the conditions surround us. So if you look from that perspective, yes, it is, it, it is uh, addressing the issues and the challenges and uh, the, the problems that Muslims are facing today. There are significant differences that I uh, saw and I understand is uh, its emphasis on education which is uh, very important. And that's why I established hundreds of schools, actually thousands of schools, uh, <clears throat> not only in Turkey, but uh, also around the world. So it's paying a lot of attention to education of young people as well as um, adults, uh, those who go to universities and colleges. So I saw some of the universities and colleges. And also it is uh, heavily involved in social work. Now, there are other movements also involved in social work, which is very much needed in the Muslim world. Uh, but this, uh, I found that uh, they are very professional. Uh, went to the relief organization, its headquarter. Uh, was very impressed with the kind of um, uh, you know, expertise and uh, paying attention to the details, <clears throat> how to provide services to the people uh, especially if, uh, if there is a natural disaster, earthquake someplace, how to go and immediately help the people, first of all, to save the people who are trapped under the um, heavy stones or, or, or some other structures, how to take them out. So we, I saw the, 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 the whole machinery and the trucks ready there to, to help that, tents to be provided and food to be provided, many other things. So this is the kind of thing, to knowing the details and working with the details. This is very good to have that. So it's not just, just volunteers are there and with good will they are going to help people, but you have to have to know how to do that. So know-how and professional, professionalism, this is very important. And uh, so I was very impressed with that. 
I think that uh, program that uh, Pacifica Institute has, the program of visitors is an excellent program. Uh, taking Muslims and non-Muslim uh, people who are especially those who are uh, in the leadership position, uh, it is important that, uh, should be, that they should go on. It's a very uh, educational and very inspirational. And also it brings better understanding of cultures. Uh, and uh, it is handled in a very professional way. So I must uh, praise the movement for that. That the people who are there, and there are I see scores of people and that take people and uh, take good care of them and show them different places and do not impose anything on the people. Do not say, keep on you know, brainwashing them. No, that's not the way. Uh, they, they don't do that. They, they are simply, uh, this, is the, this is what we have. Just show them. So that's not uh, the thing. That, so this is very good, and this will help very much in uh, bringing cultures closer to each other. Uh, I wish there were other Muslim countries were doing that, because we have so much that uh, people can see in the Muslim world. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that Turkey has uh, taken initiative on that, and the Hizmet movement people are doing that. Uh, this is very important. That uh, and, uh, uh, this, this program uh, should continue. Turkish uh, people, they need this movement. And this movement, of course, uh, needs uh, the help of the government. Uh, although, although the movement is not a political movement, it does not involve in politics, but at the same time, uh, there is, uh, I mean, there are many, many areas the government should not hinder the work of the movement and, and, and should be uh, supportive, if, if not collaborating, but at least support. And at least does not hinder, does not make a create problem. And uh, so there should be, a, 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 the movement is a peaceful movement. It's not involved in any violence or anything like that. So this is the good. So this, that's what we have to do. We have to support and encourage peaceful movement in the Muslim world. Hizmet and the philosophy that Mr. Gulam espouses provides for all people, not only Christians or Muslims, but for all people to share their ideas and to have a greater understanding of Islam and that it is a religion of peace and unity. The Quran has emphasized a lot of the time, learning and seeking knowledge. Ilm and Aql, all of these things are great emphasis in Islam. So I'm glad that uh, Hizmet movement has taken one of its uh, top priorities to pay attention to education.